Hello everybody, so today I am going to show you how to model a pencil in Blender. This is going to be a pretty basic tutorial and you don't need any previous Blender experience to do it. I'm going to show you all the steps along the way and explain the different keyboard shortcuts and things like that. So first of all, obviously we open up Blender. It's kind of hard to make a Blender model without it. And then we're going to click the plus right here and do back click background images. Then we're going to go down, click add image, click open, and then my reference image for the pencil is on desktop. So click that, and then there it is. So now we can start modeling our pencil since we have something. So go to add mesh cube. So right there. But as as you all know, pencils are not square. They're generally octagonal. So we're going to go hit the backslash key, and that just selects the pencil, and then hit three, so that's side view. And then we go into tab, which is edit mode. And then all the vertices are selected, and we hit W, which is subdivide, and then W again, which subdivides it twice. And then we need to hit Z, and that goes into mesh mode, wire mesh. So and then hit A, which deselects everything. So we hit, click B, select the edges, then S, select the, scale them down until they're right even with the edges right here. So it's kind of slanted perfectly down. Now that we have that, you hit tab and you can see it's almost octagonal, but these sides are still longer than these. So hit tab again. B, select these, B, select these, and then S, Y. So select those down a little bit more. B, B, S, Z. Still need to grab these a little bit so they're in line. And whenever, whenever we're done with that, they should be perfect. There. There we are. But as you see right now, it's not the right size of the pencil, and it's 90 degrees off. So we need to click R90, and that'll rotate it 90 degrees. And then click Enter to save it like that. Then we'll scale it down until it's the right dimensions by clicking S. S for scale. And then click Tab again. Click B and then G Y. So then it you can grab and take it out to there, the top of the pencil. And then click B and just G Y again and grab it out to the bottom of the pencil. Now as you can see, the tip of this pencil is pointed. So in order to do that, to make a pointed tip, we do E, which is extrude, extrude it to the end of the wood, and then click S, which scales it, and scale it down so you can get about as best as you can to the tip of the wood, not to the tip of the graphite. So click tab again, and now, since you want this to be wood colored, we click P, and that separates it, so it makes it into its own material. So we click separate selection. And then we select this by left clicking on it. And then we click backslash again. There we are. There is the tip of our pencil. And now we click go into Z. So we can just select this. And we're in tab edit mode, by the, by the way, tab. And then we do E again extrude, then S0, so that gets it down to the, it's a perfectly pointy tip. We just grab it out till it's even with the rest of the curve, and there we are. Since we want the graphite to be black, we obviously, we click B to box select it, then P, separate selection. So now, since we want to make our graphite black, we go into material mode, which is this little sphere up here, 
and click new. And then you can see the diffuse mode, we can go down, then there's the black and white slider, we slide it down till it's about a good graphite color. And then up here, it's called material, you can change that to graphite or you could call it lead or whatever you want to do to distinguish it from the others. Then we can add new material here. Then we want this to be wood colored. So we'll go down. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. So we'll call that wood. Then click backslash again. So that takes you out of this mode. And then hit seven which takes you into top mode. And then when you're selecting the long body of your pencil, hit tab, and that takes you back into edit mode. And now we're in wire, we're in solid mode, and you don't want that because you can't select all the vertices, so you want to hit Z, so that takes you into wire mesh mode. And now we're going to grab the first layer right here, and then click G, Y, select it to where the gold kind of a racer part of the pencil starts. Just like this. G there. B. Select these two and then click P. That separates selection. There and we'll select that. And click new. We'll do eraser sleeve. I don't know what proper term for it is, but that'll work for now. And you can just adjust these two different sliders. You can adjust red, green, you can move it along in the color wheel just to get until it's a nice shade of gold. It's a lot of, kind of trial and error. That's pretty good. And then now, this is the gray shade, but now we want the eraser. So we select the end tip of our pencil, hit P again, that separates it. And since we want our eraser to be a little bit smooth, after we add a new material, and we can call that eraser, we need to smooth down our eraser because if we render it right now, you can see it's pretty octagonal. And we don't want our eraser to be octagonal. So we go into modifiers, which is the wrench icon up there. Click add modif modifier, and we'll do subdivision surface. And we'll do three times. There's render and view, and we can just do render and view three times. And then there's the mesh tools and the shading, and we want to do shading smooth. So that kind of smooths out our vertices. Click tab. Oops, I did. Sorry about that. I actually did subdivision surface modifier to the pencil. Tab again. A to unselect everything, B, and then click P, separate selection. Then add modifier, subdivision surface, three, shading smooth, and then add a new material, add eraser, Keep it white, not pure white, because that would be kind of fake looking since it is an eraser. But that's pretty good. And accidentally, there's a little artifact right there. It jags out. So we went to GY. Grab that out of the way. There. Then we can add a new texture for this. Call it pencil, this is just the body of the pencil, 
and we'll make it kind of at that orangey color that that pencil looks like. And it's a little bit too red. It's kind of trial and error. There's no right way to do this. It's just kind of by eyeball. You can look and change the different sliders until it looks right to you. And then now this is the camera. So grab it so then you'll be able to see all of your pencil. You can go into zero, which is camera mode. And there we are. Render image. And there's your pencil. That's how to do it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll probably be making more soon. Thank you very much for watching.